スタートしよう Hello and welcome to episode number 55 of WITM Season 7. It is time for SmackDown, the Go Home Show prior to our next pay-per-view, Money in the Bank. But before we get to that, we have a title match already here on SmackDown, as is going to be the Intercontinental Champion for much of Season 7, Jinder Mahal. Accompanied by the 24-7 champion for much of Season 7, Shanky, taking on Austin Rage, who is looking to gain his first gold in his WWE career. He will be accompanied by one of the men's Money in the Bank ladder match participants, DJ Rage, his brother, as well as Dan Rage, look, hoping to see one of his sons achieve victory here tonight and win his first WWE gold. But prior to that, we have some build up to Money in the Bank featuring DJ Rage as well as Corey, two of the eight men featured in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Let's head down to the ring for that segment. Okay, and all eight men are in the ring that will be participating in the Men's Money in the Bank ladder match. To save a little time, we are only going to hear from the two WITM members that will be participating in that ladder match against Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Matt Riddle, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Austin Theory, who are also in the ring. First, we are going to hear from DJ Rage. What does he have to say prior to Money in the Bank just two days away? So you may ask why Money in the Bank is so important to me. Well, the answer lies in my past. As many people know, I grew up the son of the legendary WCW and WWE wrestler Dan Rage. But at first, I didn't exactly follow in his footsteps. Instead, I became a bank robber, and then a prisoner. And from there, in the eyes of everyone but my family, I became the Rage family's screw-up. Since then... I have managed to turn my life around, and have accomplished a lot in wrestling already. But in a way, I still feel like I need to prove to myself that I am a different man than I was back then. And the ultimate way to do that is to become WWE Universal Champion, and be a man that the locker room and the WWE Universe can look up to. That's why I plan on winning this Sunday, and doing just that. Okay, now we are going to hear from Corey of Monday Night Raw, what does he have to say? When I look across this ring, I see two categories of superstars. In one, you have former world champions looking to return to the top of the mountain, with Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Shinsuke Nakamura, and myself. And in the other, you have the future of this business, and likely future world champions, and Matt Riddle, Austin Theory, and DJ Rage. But what sets me apart from these other seven men is the fact that I want this more than any it more than any of them because yes I have been to the top of the mountain five times as a former ECW champion a two-time WWE champion and a two-time Universal champion but it seems like every time I reach the top of the mountain I'm pushed right off of it down to the very bottom and the last time hurt the most because the last time the late Zim sacrificed what would be his only chance to become a world champion in WWE 
to give me the chance he knew I badly wanted. And then just days later, it was all taken away from me, and I was fired. And ever since then, all I can think about is what I would do if I had the chance to get it all back. This Sunday, I can take one massive step towards doing just that. And that's why I will win. Because I must win. Okay, so the stage for Money in the Bank has been set with two emotional speeches. One from DJ Rage and one from Corey. But prior to Money in the Bank, we still have a huge match here on SmackDown. It's the main event. And it's going to be Jinder Mahal, the Intercontinental Champion. Accompanied by the 24-7 Champion Shanky. Both of who have been dominating their respective divisions in Season 7. Taking on Austin Rage, the man who defeated Jinder Mahal last week to earn this title opportunity. Austin Rage will be accompanied by his brother, DJ Rage, the former United States Champion, and his father, Dan Rage, the WWE and WCW legend and former head trainer of WITM. Will Jinder Mahal's dominance continue, or will Austin Rage claim his first WWE gold in his career in the form of the Intercontinental Championship? Let's find out and get our WIT match underway. It's the main event of SmackDown, and it's for the Intercontinental title. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger from Grand Rapids, Michigan, weighing in at 178 pounds, Austin Rage. And introducing the champion from Punjab, India, 
weighing in at 238 pounds. He is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Jinder Mahal. And there is the prize on the line, the title that Jinder Mahal has had an impressive reign with here in Season 7. And the Austin Rage is hoping to capture us his first WWE gold. As the referee lifts it high, we prepare to get this title match underway. And there's the bell. This Intercontinental title match is underway. Mahal comes out with a chop and lifts up Rage. And knee to the gut. Knees, rather, to the gut of Austin Rage. Mahal, of course, also not only wants to defend his title, but get revenge for last week where Austin Rage defeated him in on-title action to earn this opportunity. There's an arm drag and a bit of old school by Austin Rage, and a, now he kicks Mahal across the ring. And now Rage is going to take flight, but Mahal is able to evade the diving elbow drop. And now a stomp by Mahal, and a kick. Drop kick by Rage. And now a series of stomps and kicks. And Mahal with a takedown. Mahal with a stomp. And now Mahal working the uh, arm, and now the head of Austin Rage. Good technical offense, but an arm drag by Austin Rage. And a standing moonsault. There's an elbow strike by Mahal. And a series of chops and punches. Austin Rage's body now in the yellow zone. Mahal sends Rage into the corner. And there's a kick to the gut. And now Mahal washing the face of Rage against the top rope. A dirty tactic, but a tactic that will send Rage's head into the yellow zone. And now a stomp to the leg. Rage with a beautiful Hurricane Rana. And now a drop kick to the back. Mahal's body in the yellow zone. Rage tries to springboard line and so and misses wildly. And that allows Mahal to get back on the attack with a stomp and punches to the face. And another. Now Rage's head in the orange zone. And now Mahal thinking camel clutch. And it's locked in well, center ring to a slightly injured body of Rages that definitely has pressure put on it now. But Rage is able to break the hold. Mahal does have a finisher build up, however. DDT by Rage. Rage in front of his father and brother goes springboard and this time connects with the Lion Salt. And Mahal powers out at two to keep his title reign alive for now. Rage. They can rage kick and that connects. That's the signature maneuver of Rage's. Now both men have finishers built up. Will be the next man to hit their finisher that walks out Leonardo Cano and Seidel. As Rage targets the ankle of Mahal. Now Mahal, or rather Rage distracted by Shanky. That's the first time we've seen this in season seven. And that allows Mahal to attempt the Colossus, but Rage is able to reverse the finisher of Mahal despite the distraction by Shanky. And now Rage will can take flight here. Rage splash is blocked by Mahal as he puts up the knees. Both men have first reversed the finisher of the other. However, Rage does have a second finisher after reversing Mahal's. Which means Mahal probably is close to one as well. As Rage takes out the leg of Mahal. And now he's going to try again for the Rage Splash. Might be a little bit too far though. Mahal is over halfway across the ring. Rage realizes that and hops down. And now goes to the other corner closer to Mahal. And hits the Rage Splash. He goes for cover. Does he become Intercontinental Champion? 
No, just the nick of time. Mahal is able to power out at two and a half. Rage in shock. He thought that was going to be enough. But now Mahalo's body in the orange zone. WWE Universe loving this match, chanting fight forever as Rage has his standing moonsault attempt evaded by Mahal, who has another finisher built up. And he's going for it here, the Coloss. And Rage is able to break it yet again for the second time. And now Rage with a sunset flip, saying Mahal's body to the red zone, putting him at risk of injury. Rage attacks the leg of Mahal and has another finisher built up. And he's going for it now. Mahal puts up the knees and he reverses Rage's finisher for the second time. These two men know each other very well from their encounter last week. And we're seeing it here now with both men reversing the finisher of the other twice. And now Mahal perhaps plays some mind games with Austin Rage. The machine breaker powerbomb made famous by Dalton Roush. The man who attacked the Rage family for all those months. And now Mahal trying to choke the life out of Rage on the outside. Remember, if this match is at a count out, Mahal remains champion. Mahal has another finisher built up as well, but Rage swinging away with repeated kicks. And now a tilt to World Hurricane Rana. Right at count of seven. These two men need to get back to the ring, or at least Rage does, or Mahal wins by default. Or at least remains champion by default. Rage's grapple attempt is a miss. Mahal hits a massive cutter and has two finishers built up now. One of which he's going for now. If they both hit, Mahal likely remains champion. And there's the first one. The Coloss. He goes for cover. And Jinder Mahal remains your Incontinental champion. Punjab, Tadi Nagari, the Lamda Gera, Moti, a country, a Kupake, the Kabe, Ho, my Tadal, Gera, Jera, Sanu Pabe, Ho. Okay, here is results and rank is update for this edition of SmackDown. Shinsuke Nakamura defeated Ricochet. Gunther and Ludwig Kaiser defeated Los Tharios. Mad Cap Moss defeated his former mentor, Happy Corbin. Friends, Drew McIntyre and Sheamus teamed up to defeat the Usos. In on title action, the SmackDown Women's Champion Natalia defeated Raquel Rodriguez. Ronda Rousey defeated former or uh, fellow four horsewoman of MMA Shayna Baszler. Charlotte Flair defeated Aaliyah. And in our WIT matchup, Jenna Mahal. Defeat Austin Rage. It was a great back and forth match, but unfortunately, Austin Rage's quest for his first WWE gold will have to continue as Jinder Mahal remains the Arcano Champion. And how does that affect the rankings on SmackDown? Let's find out. The 24 7 Champion is Shanky. The SmackDown Women's Champion is Natalia. Number contender, Shotzi. Number two, Charlotte. Number three, Raquel Rodriguez. Number four, Ronda Rousey. Number five, Lacey Evans. Number six, Shia Lee. Number seven, Shayna Baszler. Number eight, Aaliyah. The SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the Unified Tag Team Champions, are the New Day. Then what contenders, the Brawling Brutes. Number two, the Usos. And number three, Los Lotharios. The Intercontinental Champion is Jenna Mahal. Number contender, Gunther. Number two, Shinsuke Nakamura. Number three, Madcap Moss. Number four, Austin Rage. Number five, Sami Zayn. Number six, Ricochet. Number seven, Happy Corbin. The... Uh, WWE Universal Champion is Brock Lesnar, number contender from SmackDown, Sheamus, number two, DJ Rage, number three, Drew McIntyre, and number four, Roman Reigns. So now we advance to the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. We already know that the WITM match that will be featured is the eight-man ladder match. 
that which Corey and DJ Rage of WITM will be a part of, but we will reveal that match and the full card to you in just a moment after I get it set up. Okay, and here is your card for Money in the Bank 2022, the last match of which is our WITM matchup in the main event. First, it will be Matt Riddle defending the United States title he just won on the previous Raw in his second of two WI or sorry, second of two matches of the night, as he will be in the Money in the Bank ladder match as well, both on the opening and main event match, as well as his manager Shinsuke Nakamura. He will be defending the United States title against Damian Priest of the Judgment Day, the number one contender, accompanied by the rest of Judgment Day, Finn Balor and Rhea Ripley. Ray Ripley will be competing in the next match, the eight-woman Money in the Bank ladder match, featuring Liv Morgan, Carmella, Raquel Rodriguez, Ronda Rousey, sh calling a bit of an audible here and having Charlotte Flair face Asuka because I forgot that Asuka had already earned herself a title shot, so doesn't really need this match. So Charlotte Flair, the winner of the last chance battle royal, gets the final spot, as well as Lacey Evans, Shotzi, and Rhea Ripley. And speaking of that title shot for Asuka, she gets hit immediately following that women's ladder match against the Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch. Asuka looking to regain her title that Becky defeated her for about a month ago. And then it will be the New Day defend the Unified Tag Team titles against the Mysterios, the number one contenders from Raw. And it changed that match. That is not supposed to be Becky Lynch versus Carmella, so let me fix that real quick. Um, what is that fifth match supposed to be? Oh, I see what happened. There were two SmackDown Women's Championship matches listed because in real life, Liv Morgan catched her in her main the bank, so there were two SmackDown Women's matches, so I'm going to delete that one. Then it is Natalya defending the SmackDown Women's title against Shia Lee. Here we'll go into edit matches so we get the actual money in the bank background. And then it is our WITM match, the men's money in the bank ladder match between the eight men who won their qualifiers, or rather the seven men who won their qualifying matches, and then the winner of the last year's battle royal. It is the winner of the last chance battle royal, DJ Rage, and seven qualifier winners, Corey, the United States champion, Matt Riddle, who may or may not be United States champion following that match, defending, going to that match, depending on what happens in the opening match. Kevin Owens, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Shinsuke Nakamura, and the real-life Money in the Bank winner, Austin Theory, who didn't win a qualifier, actually, and just gets in because he was been some, Vince McMahon's golden boy at the time. So, obviously, a huge episode number 56. We will find out who Mr. Money in the Bank is going to be with a 1 in 4 chance that will be a WIT member with both Corey and DJ Rage competing. But that is going to do it for episode number 55. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so I miss a single moment of WIT in action. Until episode number 56, a pay-per-view episode where we will have the Miz Money in the Bank ladder match featured. This is Corey with WITM Car Wrestling signing off.